Well, I'll tell you what, David's going to be in trouble after this Jeff documentary comes out. Is he, out. though? I feel like he gets away with just everything. Especially because, once again, Jeff will be the one to have press charges, and he's not going to. Like, And it's fine. I get it. It's well, fine I actually talked I talked this over with Dan. The problem is Jeff doesn't need... I'm going to... We'll talk about this, but the problem is, is that he needed a special license and supervision to operate that excavator, and that I don't think Jeff needs to press charges against him for. Who ha but someone has to. Well, if like, not necessarily, it's a crime against the state. Yeah, if the, the state, state could press or, charges, right? It's a crime against the state. I doubt that will happen. But we we don't have all the info. Maybe he did go out of his way to get licensed. Maybe that's a totally right. moot point. But to operate a, a heavy machinery Aaron like that, but come on, you need, you need a but they, they had come on. Let's let's, <laughs> I mean, I'm just, let's cut this shit. <laughs> it's when I we just don't know when I saw. I just saw that again through like a different means. I didn't look at just documentary, but when I saw that he was driving, that like my stomach dropped. I texted you and my stomach like dropped because it was like this whole other level of like shit. Like I felt bad. I kind of not, not felt bad for David because like it was his dumb ass, but like it almost made me feel bad because now this is like someone's life yeah. that he ruined. Like he like. Oh yeah. He gave Jeff life changing injuries. Brain damage, blindness. And like, that's a lot of guilt. And I'm sure I know David's not like evil. Oh, this, where see, this was in his documentary. Oh, it is. He showed okay. David in the excavator in his documentary. So yeah, I'm not, <sighs> I'm not stepping out of turn here. Um, Cause I know the guilt he's going to live with. So I feel bad for him. I mean, at the same time, he's a dumbass. Like, but I know like when you, when you do that to someone, you, you gave someone blindness, you gave someone like brain damage, like all the stuff Jeff has said, like <laughs> it's, I, I, I don't know how you even. And from what Jeff said on Impulsive, not to bring that up because I know he said <laughs> I knew you were going to bring up Impulsive. I jokingly <laughs> said to Trisha before the podcast starts, you got anything about Impulsive you want to bring up today? I didn't until then. Oh, the my God. Go I ahead. I wanted to cite my source of how I know Go this. ahead. Jeff said he hadn't talked to when that episode was filmed, which <laughs> they kept saying in Impulsive, this was filmed March 12th because it was clearly He before. said he hadn't talked to David? In, in like six months or seven months. Dude, that's that's their MO. They cut people out when something goes sideways. Yeah, I guess but, he said they like somebody tried to film like a mukbang with him after, but he was like not about it. And so I guess he's just kind of. OK, so um, he's not anti David because I talked to him on the phone because whatever, yeah, sure. but he's not anti David. And I'm really not either. But this is such a like I told him, I'm like, if you have this blind, like you have to have some sort of somewhere compensation somewhere because your life is ruined and changed and like all this stuff. Life changing changed, injury. Not ruined. It's a life changing yeah. injury. Yeah, it is. So, so what happened was that they went out to this lake to film this video for David's vlogs. And there's this thing where you get an excavator and you like wakeboard and you hold on to the claw. Well, they, so when I, I we saw also the, don't know if it's for David's vlog, if it's a sponsorship or if it's just video, there's like speculation for all three of those things. So we don't know, but David was, well, you know, any, okay. I mean, well, just okay. to say it's not for David's vlog. I don't know for sure. Okay. Course. Thank you for the correction. So, um, so what happened was, um, I saw the video actually, not like the close up Cause I heard there's a close up video. That's mm. really gory and like scary. Cause they mm. thought he was, gonna die yeah but i saw there was people on the beach filming it so i saw it from far away mm -hmm. but what happened is he's spinning around david starts spinning him around really fast mm -hmm. and then suddenly stops it and he slams into the the arm of the mm. of the excavator and then falls into the water <laughs> and the thing is no when, helmet by the way no help yeah exactly so when i first heard of how his injury actually happened which was this kind of like david uh, doing this excavator gag for a video. I was like, man, who, the big question for my mind is who was driving it? Because one, you need a special license to operate an excavator. That is a dangerous machine and you need to be properly trained to operate that. That is not a joke. You can get seriously injured and you can't just fuck around on a machine like that. I mean, this is serious. This is a serious machine. It's extremely dangerous. And so when I found out that it was actually David driving, um, that put everything over the line for me where I was like, this is so, he is so irresponsible. Yeah. He, he is not safe to be around. He is so brutally irresponsible to put his friends and even himself in that position. Um, I was blown away. He's talked about on the podcast that like, if, if, so, if like he accidentally killed, some, like he said, you always joke about like accidentally like killing one of his friends. Like, I feel like one day that's going to happen. It's like, well, you like, almost did. Yeah. And it's, it's just, it's so like my stomach, like feels so sick over this because, and again, like, He's at fault for this. Like this, is, if he would have like died, he would have been charged for manslaughter. You know, like that's oh for sure he would have been charged. 
But I think he is respond. If it was for a video for him, he has a responsibility to ensure everybody's safety and to make sure that there's someone who knows how to operate that machine and that there's a medic there and all this stuff and that the people have helmets on and stuff. But the fact that he didn't have any of that and that it was him operating the vehicle makes me really like, wow, just shocks me that he did this life changing Injury to Jeff. And then he ghosted him, according to what you said. According to what Jeff said on Impulsive. <laughs> according to what Jeff said on Impulsive. Je- I don't, he didn't David, say ghost. He said he hasn't talked to. So it could be I mean, Jeff's what the fuck is that? To, maybe I, Jeff decided you know, not to talk to him after it, that. I don't know. So I won't say David just didn't reach out to him. Maybe Jeff decided not to. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's psychotic. The guy, I would think that David would feel totally responsible to pay for his medical bills and probably even to give him a settlement because he's fucked his whole I, life up. I don't know for sure, but I think he's paying for his bills, but nothing more than that is what I'm yeah. So if he's paying for his bills, then I do think that means that there's it was for him. I mean, he also was the one driving. He caused the accident. So. Exactly. He caused it. Yeah. He, David, fuck. Why is my mic to, drooping? A settlement, why especially drooping? because that because Jeff just right hasn't here? been able. He tried to work and he just he can't. Like he just oh oh. Bro, I need some. Do we have a sponsor? I know. I need some function? Blue Chew. <laughs> is okay. that Blue Chew? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Do we wish they had that sponsor? Generica Viagra. Really? It's called yeah. Blue Chew. Okay. Um, I, I feel, yeah, the situation. It's dis- it's horrid. This is it's like- absolutely fucking horrid. And by the way, in retrospect, how there was like this big hush hush. Nobody talked about it. Nobody knows what happened. Right. And David and all of his friends were there and they all knew what happened. And everybody's just like, <laughs> hush, 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 protect David. Now, after watching the first part of Jeff's documentary, yeah. I did get this insight into what kind of guy he is. And, like, he has, like, a criminal history and he comes from a hard neighborhood. And I'm so selling weed. The whole th- no, but he was doing – he got arrested. He had, like, a ton of cocaine and ecstasy and weed and stuff. He, he was but gonna, he's not a violent criminal. No, he's not a violent yeah, criminal. Yeah, he's a drug he was, criminal. He was a big-time – he was a big-time dealer. Yeah. He was supposed to do 15 years in jail, but they didn't have a search mm-hmm. warrant, so it got thrown out. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I understand from his background that he like he's kind of just like I'm going to handle my own shit. I'm not mm-hmm. going to snitch on my friend, all this kind of like whatever stuff. Like I get that. But at the same time, David, the fact that he just went on like nothing is beyond fucking insane. Oh, the amount of guilt I would feel. I mean, I'm guilty about everything now and I just like say everything. I like say as much as I can because that's so that's crazy. And and to go about like you said like normal like everybody. He's like people wanted to film mukbangs with me after like the, the like and just film stupid bits. He's like I didn't want to do that shit. And it's like, yeah. No, he was seriously injured. I think he almost died. Because, like, in the video, you can see his skull was cracked. Like, his whole skull was cracked. All the way down his forehead, his eye came out, apparently. They had to sew his eyelid on. It looked really, um, really bad. And also from, like, what, like, our conversation, like, I mean, he just, uh, like, I just don't think he talks to, like, really any of them. He says he has real friends now. Because I said, I'm like, I asked him because I generally was, like, concerned. I'm like, are you going to, like, a therapist? Because he said he has, like, a lot of mental, like, yeah. issues he's struggling with and stuff. And um, he said he hasn't. And he's going to That's start. Cool. I'm like, you need, he has not, he said yet. And so oh, just God. Like, Maybe we should have him back on after his documentary's done to do a little wrap-up interview. Would that be nice? Do we like that? I mean, I like Jeff, and I've always I've always said good things about him because of everyone in the group. Jeff I feel like he's but in the end he re- removed the video. Rem- that's what I yeah. said. He goes, "I looked like an idiot on your guys' show because I talked to him on Thursday." And I was like, "Honestly, you even just like coming on and talking is one really brave too. You like acknowledge and apologize the second time to like everybody and took down the video like cat and stuff like that." I said, "I have no issue with you because even this, he's like, oh, I don't want you to talk about this in a bad way." And I was like, first of all, no, because he's scared people are going to look at him as a dumbass." And I was like. No Why? One- he, I saw the video. He didn't do anything. David was spinning it. It was all David's fault from what I could tell. But but Jeff has so much embarrassment from it that he like didn't want people to know. Like he's like shameful. He's like, I don't get that. Because his uh, like a friend of his and I think his dad were like, you're a dumbass. Why did you do that? So I think he had this thing where everyone's going to call him a dumbass. I'm like, if anything, people are going to have like a lot of empathy for you because that's I don't like- think so. I don't think it's embarrassing for him. I think he was there trying to make content for his friend and his friend. I don't think da- David didn't do it on purpose, but he doesn't know how to operate this machine. That's the problem. He doesn't have the license. I think he might have it, but I fucking he doubt it. Doesn't. I'm just saying that to cover my ass here, but like, right. come on. And, um, and he, and he neglect, he negligently injured his friend and this isn't the first time so like there was a guy that joe and i told you he had a, a stunt where he was supposed to do like a motorbike over a pool mm. and he missed it and he like he had something with his head he had like a head injury this was like i don't know three years ago and i said in the video Dude, not to he, be like it's fucking insane because he's big enough you you have this yeah. team apparently you know what i mean like have <laughs> someone with a fucking brain around who knows who can assistance and then not one of them could get like a medic or someone to like supervise the stunts or someone with a fucking license stunt coordinator, stunt coordinator. jackass you, had all 
all of those people. When you look at the credits, they had like all of the people. Well, that's the difference between Jackass and David's vlogs is that you have people behind Jackass people that have, are actually responsible like, adults. People have been seriously into his, his vlogs before. Like he's, the, this has happened so much. It's not like yeah. once, like oops. But like I think, it, you know, I think this just solidifies what we've been saying is that he is a deeply irresponsible person that endangers the people around him to make content. And this isn't just mm-hmm. a ice. This is now you have someone who was essayed. You have someone who with life changing injuries. And each time there was an, a, a, a um, attempt to cover up and move on and to cut from your life. Dom cut. Obviously that makes sense. But the fact that he just dropped Jeff to me is soul wrenchingly fucking horrible. Dom wasn't also dropped. We had said there was a video of 2020 right before the pandemic. That's true. With the merch. They were doing like a merch plug. Not only that, but like they went to Dom's party. Remember that party? He was going to go on tour. Hmm. Right. In, right. In 2020. Right. Oh my God. Right. So ah. they were all there supporting him in 2020, uh, like February. So he I saw a lot him. of people, by the way, saying that David didn't know about. Um, I saw this on TikTok because apparently they don't watch Frenemies, fucking losers. <laughs> but people keep some saying. Some TikTok do. We like some of Yeah. Oh, I love the people that love us on TikTok. <laughs> come on, bro. You know, you know, one love. But. <laughs> People were saying that they didn't know David didn't know what Dom did. And that's actually provably false yeah. because David removed the video mm-hmm. after Dom got the text, which means that Dom showed David the text or at least explained why he needed to remove that video, proving David knew about it. Yeah. No, David did. And he left the comment about like, good job coming clean. Like the first time it happened, like the second time he knew, like he just knew. Good every job, time. buddy. Oh, yeah. When da- <laughs> when he's like, yeah, I grew up to grow a gun. He's like, hey. He's, what's his classic line? He says, being a being an idiot is easy, but <laughs> taking credibility is hard. Good job, buddy. <sighs> this is just crazy. No one talked about it either. It's like that's like everyone just stayed quiet about this. It's like it's, it's so crazy. Oh, you know, it was even crazier because you mentioned on the show that the accident happened like this. Mm-hmm. And then on the David Dobrik subreddit, because they did such a, an unprecedented job of scrubbing this inter- this video off the Internet somehow that people were like, this video doesn't exist. And Trisha's lying. People were accusing you of lying and making up all yeah. over the David Dobrik blog, uh, subreddit. Yeah, when the uh, trailer for it came out, the trailer for Jeff's documentary. Uh, I went and checked out like how it was being received in David's community or whatever. And they all took the trailer, the scene of the parachuting. They're like, oh, he injured himself parachuting. So that story about excavator, Trisha made the whole thing up. That was like what everybody was saying. And then the next day it comes out and it's like, oh, no, wait, it wasn't. Uh, well, don't, don't feel bad because after his trailer cut, everyone now was like, oh, Trisha's right again. Trisha's right again. I'm just so used to people thinking I lies. I'm like, whatever, it comes out or it comes out. You know, it doesn't. But, but like um, how, like the fact that they underwent this, like. How uh, did I just make this epi- up to? Like, like, like how do you erase a video off the internet? Like that just doesn't happen. There's people on the server being like, I can't find the internet. The footage just doesn't exist. Like, how do you do that? I mean, that they were making this unbelievable effort to scrub the internet of right. this video to just fucking brush over the fact that you gave your friend life injuring Life-changing injuries. From what Jeff told me is he's going to put it out and he it'll be demonetized by like YouTube, but he's going to, he has the footage and he wants to be the one to release it because his mom hasn't seen it yet. So hey, he said it's he his has, footage to release. Of course, yeah. And so he, I think he has all the footage. I think he said he's going to, he's like, I'm not like trying to hide or anything. Like, you know, he's, he, he said he's not trying to like cover. He said he was trying to make it like a documentary and make it like, you know, keep people guessing. And he, I, the, the first part came out so quickly after our conversation. I talked to him Thursday and this came out like Sunday, I guess. So yeah, I watched I guess it. He was trying to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it all. You know, I always curious. told him I have support. I said, the only reason I ever came for you is because you came for me and said, Trisha has like mental illness. She's the, you know, like she's a liar. She wasn't there. So that's why like I had an issue with him. I have no issue other than that. Cause I think he thinks I was him trying to come for him. And I'm like, literally never. Well, there was the Starbucks incident. <laughs> <laughs> we still talk about that on the phone. He's like, <laughs> it's so funny. So that's the Jeff documentary that, that, oh,